Let's talk about a couple of keyboards that are taking the world by storm right now. They're called entry-level keyboards, but in all honesty, these are lethal weapons on mediocrity in music. I call this the Roland's secret weapon. Go Keys 3 and Go Keys 5. But what is the difference between Go Keys 3 and Go Keys 5? Let me break this down for you very simply. And I'll show you a bunch of features after. But getting straight into it, Go Keys 3 has a weaker speaker than Go Keys 5. That's one. Secondly, Go Keys 3 does not have a microphone input. So if you're a performer that is passing your signal through an amplifier and you don't have a microphone going into the amplifier but you want to put it into the keyboard, Go Keys 3 can't do that for you. Go Keys 5 can. You can plug in a microphone. And that is one of the major differences, as you can see in that video. The lady was singing into a microphone, showing you that it could go directly in here, and you can also harmonize your voice based on the chords you're holding. It's pretty nifty. I've demoed this before. That is a huge difference for those who might want to sing along and have a harmony based on the chords you're playing in the background. Totally game-changing for those people who are performers. Now, going back to Go Keys 3, another huge limitation of Go Keys 3 that I'm going to show you is that Go Keys 3 only has one output, and that output can be used for headphones or it could split into two to give a stereo left and right. However, Go Keys 5 has got a stereo dedicated headphone jack, headphone output, but it's also got a dedicated left and right. This totally changes the game for people who perform and record clean audio directly to camera or phone or whatever device you're using. This, in my mind, is a massive game changer for serious musicians who want to record clean audio on the go. Because you can't use your USB out every time you're on the move. And for that reason, I recommend taking your left audio out directly into your phone or directly into your camera and you get clean sound anywhere you are on the road, on the go. You don't even need power because it runs on battery. So those are the huge differences for me between Go Keys 3 and 5. Now with that said, let's scroll down and take a look at the highlights. 61 keys for the 3 and 5, Zencore engine, auto accompaniment, chord sequencer, play it anywhere with built-in speakers. It's bananas. It's so enjoyable. Bluetooth audio, MIDI support for music streaming and song creation, USB audio MIDI interface for working with music, software and computers and mobile services, pedal hold jack, and then it's got a USB memory which doubles as a WC1 port for backup, audio file playback, and the WC1 adapter for Roland Cloud Connect. It's an all-in-one USB that enables you to do both. Support for Roland Cloud Connect allows you to wirelessly browse, audition, and download Roland Cloud content from your smartphone. So you can go through the laundry list of stuff that they have on Roland Cloud and select new stuff, which is, is really game-changing. You know, you talk about software as a service. Well, Roland Cloud, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant job. And, I mean, other creators, other manufacturers, rather, are leaving money on the table if they don't have this already. You know, a cloud service to download new sounds that integrate with your keyboard, new beats, and so on. Going over to Roland Gokies 5. The specs are a little bit different. We're going to see some specs that are a little bit different here. So let's go back, back to the beginning, and let's take a look at highlights. So 
pretty much all that we saw is the same. The 61 note keyboard, uh, Zen call, auto accompaniment, chord sequencer, and let's just go back and forth so that you can actually see the very slight differences. So you got big powerful sound with stereo speakers and passive radiator. You don't have that here. Okay, so as we go back and forth, see how see how the screen changes for some of the features that are different. So microphone input and onboard vocal effect. This does not have that. Okay. And then you got audio inputs and outputs. So you've got an aux in, you got microphone in. This does not have that. Okay. You got pedal hold and external control jacks. This has pedal hold, but as far as the external control jacks, this doesn't have that. Okay. Let's see what else it doesn't have. Okay. So it has a dedicated WC1 adapter port for Roland Cloud Connect. This doubles one port for WC1 as well as USB memory, but this has a standalone USB memory port. So nothing messes with the stuff that you want to bring into your keyboard from your USB stick. And you can also at the same time connect to Roland Cloud, unlike this, which doesn't have the dedicated port. Okay. So what are the main differences? One more time. For this, I got to go into my store. And, you know, if you're looking to get this keyboard and what I'm telling you is helping you make a decision, I will appreciate it. If you go to azexperiment.com and grab your keyboard from here because it helps me to be able to create more content that helps people who want to play. So down here we have Roland Go Keys Portable Keyboards. I'm going to click on that because I want to show you, I want to zoom in to what exactly the differences are. Okay, so let's go to the Roland Go Keys and the Go 5. So let's hit on Go 3 first, Go Keys 3 first. And... Let's do that and let's see if we can see a close-up of the specs I want to show you the the back of the keyboard so if you take a, a look it's not as clear but the back of the keyboard if we just go up here let's try to zoom in get a good zoom can't get a, a better zoom than this so that's the dedicated out going to your uh, that's the USB out. This is going to the computer. That's the power. That's the pedal. And that's the headphone jack. Okay. As you can see, very limited connectivity there. Very limited. Now, if we go back over here and go to the GoKeys 5 and have a look over here try and blow it up a little bit what you're gonna see is two USB you see two USB outs right there and then one dedicated to go to your computer that's the power and here we have a combination of things one is the mic in uh, or one one I should say we got two that are pedals we got one that is a mic in Let's go a little bit deeper. I'm going to make sure I don't tell you the wrong thing. Okay, so let me start from here. So here we've got the headphone out. We got left and right. I believe one of these is aux in and mic in. And then we have the pedal for greater level of control. And then we have just a regular sustain. I believe that's what it is. So that is what this is all about my friends the these two make such a difference because if you wanted to record directly to your phone with audio clean audio I mean like pristine great quality sound then you're gonna have to use the left for this unfortunately go keys 3 does not have a dedicated dedicated left and right 
And it's huge. It makes such a huge difference because imagine you were performing outside on the street or on the beach or somewhere and you wanted to capture the performance cleanly. This is going to be hard to do because the output here, once you plug in the headphones, you ain't going to hear the speakers anymore. And not hearing the speakers is hard, right? Because you can't play what you're not hearing. If you were to plug this going into your phone, then again, you also will not hear what is happening with the keyboard. So this feature, having a dedicated left and right and a headphone out, if you needed it, is a game changer. Because when I'm playing and recording directly to my phone, guess what? I don't need the headphones because I can hear from the speaker the dedicated left and right could go into my phone. And that's how I've been recording so cleanly with this. So if you are at crossroads but you're a performer, you want clean sound, you want to you want to play and get those high frequencies going directly to your phone um, or to your recording device, this is the one for you. Don't compromise it because you know once you get the Go Keys 3, you're going to be stuck with it and then it's not going to be able to it's not you're not going to find it easy to produce great sound on the fly. You're going to need a white cable and it's it just gets messy. It gets messy. Trust me. I've taken a look at both. But if if you're not performing and you know you're moved by the colors like I I am going to get one of these, you know, eventually for for someone for for one of my kids, but as far as I mean it's got the colors so nice. But as far as the functionality, that just doesn't do it for me. I, I had to go with the 5. Because the 5 allows me to create clean sound directly. I could set up anywhere. I could set up on the freeway and my sound goes directly into my phone. And it's clean and I can hear what's coming out of the speakers. But I also have a signal that's going straight into my phone. My audio feed matched with it. Alright, I mean that's priceless. Even the DGX670 doesn't have that. The Yamaha DGX670 doesn't have that. So this keyboard, I mean, all in all, Gokis 5 is lethal. It's, it's a killer because you can record high quality sound anywhere with those connectivity options at the back. All right, I'm off my soapbox. I'm getting all excited about this stuff because I love the options that Roland has provided for its users. Thank you very much for joining me. You take care and I'll see you in another episode. Bye for now.